Watson won Jeopardy because it was preloaded with so much information and data. In fact, if you printed it all out, it would equal 200 million pages, accessed in the blink of an eye. Sure, Watson may have made history, but I wonder, how did it feel? Robots long ago mastered the task of repetitive work, but the newest frontier doesn't involve robots exploring distant planets, or making more cars, or even beating you at math. The newest wave of computers and robots is designed to manipulate our emotions. MIT professor and National Science Foundation researcher Sherry Turkle says it's surprisingly easy to make a robot that toys with someone's emotions. We're biologically programmed to think that a machine that can do very, very simple things, like look us in the eye, uh, remember our name, is a machine that cares about us. Check out this robotic seal. It responds to petting and cuddling. It listens to what you have to say, and it even answers back. It's in use right now to cheer up people who might feel alone in places like retirement homes. How about a family of friendly, caring robots to keep lonely grandpa happy? Coming soon is what most robot makers are hoping. But in her book, Alone Together, Turkle says technology that imitates love or affection, in the end, deprives us of the one thing we really need, human contact. These machines fool us into thinking they care, whereas in fact they're being put in place of people who care. Sure, robots might make do for a while, but in the end, they'll blow up in your face. So next time you're feeling a little too close to a robot, just let them down easy. Say, it's not you, it's me. That usually works.